What's up guys and welcome to another episode of El Jardín Perito. Today, we're not mulching with hay. All right, so I just mulched everything in my front yard uh, for spring. I had quite a bit of wood chips and biomass um, kind of break down throughout the duration of the winter. And so I had some bare spots and I decided to mulch things over. While this may look like hay, there's a reason why A, it's not, and B, I refuse to use hay. Most of the hay is sprayed with glyphosate and other harmful chemicals, pretty much Roundup to kill any other weeds or any other competition. Another reason why I'm really finicky about buying certain types of soils and compost is because this is used in compost and what happens is these sprays are almost never breaking down. Um, they're transferred through the animal's gut into their fecal matter, can't use uh, certain cow manures, and it's just horrible. I'm sure you guys are well aware that most haze, which is just a grass, are sprayed with glyphosate, Roundup, other harmful chemicals, and these chemicals are definitely gonna break down and inhibit seedling growth as well as plant growth and other things. One thing you'll see is like a curly leaf um, on certain nightshades and tomatoes and stuff like that and all sorts of problems. So I found an alternative a while ago using alfalfa. It mimics a hay, it looks a lot like a hay, but it's actually a legume. One great thing about this is they're not gonna use Roundup on a legume because that would kill it. So you're already up one because they're less likely to be sprayed, although they can be sprayed with other things. I know in the more Southern states, there's a beetle that affects this crop. And so sometimes they'll spray I have a source in which they get it from Mexico and they have a source in which they do not spray. So that's one thing to look out for. So I learned this because I had goats and I had the goats penned up with the chickens and they'd spill a lot of alfalfa, kind of stir it around, and I'd end up cleaning it all up, mixed with the manure and composting with it. Looking back, I think because I had so many chickens, um, some of it was a little hot and I could have composted it down a little further before mulching because I did notice um, some of my plants got a little bit inhibited, but the longer it was there kind of breaking down, um, nutrients were getting broken down and fed and they were doing really well. Just, I noticed they had like initial shock, so that's something you may want to watch for if you're using them with chickens or anything like that. So alfalfa being leguminous, um, it's kind of like a chop and drop theory. There's lots of nitrogen being released as well as other vital nutrients when it's broken down. So it's a lot more nutrient dense than hay would be. And so I kind of alternate between wood chips and alfalfa. Uh, in the winter, when nothing's gonna be growing for a while, needs that extra insulation, I'll add a lot of wood chips, especially with annuals. With perennials, it kind of depends, but I'd rather have something lighter. And now that we're in spring, I did need something to cover the soil but I didn't want to suffocate any potential seedlings as I did throw a lot of uh, wildflowers around this year and I have lots of things that are self-seeding all the time. So a nice thin layer of alfalfa is going to not inhibit anything, let things breathe a little. And as you can see, while I did lay it down, while it's still green, it's thin enough a layer that it's not going to create a lot of heat while it's breaking down. If you really pile that on while it was green, yes, you could have like a little composting action and it might burn some of your seedlings. So yeah, if you can see here, I mean, I'm basically surrounding strawberries and stuff, but it's not very deep, but it's just enough to cover some of this soil. So yeah, basically I just wanted to inform you guys a little bit of why you may want to be weary of where you source your hay if you're going to use hay. Um, Yes, hay is a great mulch, it's a great insulator, um, but it is not good if it's been sprayed. All right guys, well I thought I'd make this video short and sweet, just something I wanted to pass along while I was doing a little spring maintenance here. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing, liking, sharing, um, it does help the algorithm and I am looking to grow this to get more information out of the masses. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, thanks for tuning in, until next time.